What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. You guys probably saw our last EV content that we put out where we introduced Dave and his EV swap Mercedes. Well, Dave's been charging his Mercedes every day with this rat nest of a charger. He's got a 220 plug plugged into a regular old extension cord plugged into the 120 wall outlet. Well, now that Dave's a permanent resident here at Salvage or Savage, we felt like we had to do something for him to make him feel a little bit more at home. So we're gonna be installing Dave, his very own EV charging station right here on the outside of our shop. Although we already have a charging station on the inside of our shop for our Tesla truck, it is not compatible with his battery setup. So we got something here in the shop for him. Let's go get it unboxed. All right guys, in this box is our brand new EV charging station that the boys at Autel just sent us over to try out and do a full product review. So in full disclosure, this episode is brought to you by Autel. But in the spirit of this channel, we're gonna be as open and as honest as we possibly can. So let's get this box opened up. All right, got the main, main charging station with the 25 foot lead and charging port already attached to it. You got a wall mounting bracket and a little bag of hardware. So we got everything you need to get it installed. What we have here is a 240 volt, 50 amp EV charging station, which is compatible with every EV vehicle you can imagine, which is great for around here because we need it to handle our twin Tesla powered C10, as well as Dave's EV swap Mercedes. Now we could just let Dave charge his car to our 120 volt wall outlet, but now he doesn't have to worry about being stuck here late just to get enough juice to get home. Because this unit right here boasts nine times faster charging than his level one charger that he's been using. So not only does this thing look super sleek, the build quality is awesome, man. The 25 foot power cable gives you plenty of length to reach anywhere you want to go. In our situation, we're going to be putting this thing outside. This has a level four NEMA rating, which is extremely high. So it could be outside in the rain or the snow. If you're up north, you know, you're, you're dealing with freezing weather. You don't have to worry about it. So here in Florida, it rains constantly. We don't have to have this thing mounted to the inside of our shop and running this long power cable outside of our garage door every day, which is great. They also designed it to dissipate heat. The Altel Maxi Charger was designed to stay 50 degrees cooler than the industry average, which if you ever charge an EV car before, you know how hot these chargers could actually get. This thing has a usable operating temperature between negative 40 to 130 degrees which means you can charge up no matter where you are or what season. It also has a boatload of other features like this display screen and an app to control it. But we'll get into all that once we get it installed. We do a lot of electrical around here on cars, but we are not electricians. So we're gonna do the responsible thing. We're gonna get a licensed electrician to come out here, install this charging station so we don't burn down any of these cars or our shop. All right, guys, we got our Altel EV charger installed on the wall. And let me tell you, it looks really slick, man. Not only does it look slick, but it's actually working awesome with Dave's car. It's charging the car lightning speed faster than what he was using with that janky 110 wire. It's obviously working the better than the one we had inside because that one didn't work for his car at all. You've been using it for about a week, man. What do you think? It's great. I charge in less than half the time is the old system. Don't have to run cables everywhere, plug right in. It's great. And uh, we got this phone app too. So phone app, it shows you a map of exactly where the charger is. It tells you whether you're connected. You could start and stop the charge from the phone app. It's connected through Bluetooth and through Wi-Fi to our shop network. It tells you the total amount the charger's put out. Under here, you could add a vehicle, though this Mercedes model year is not in their electric <laughs> database for some reason. You could also go up here and if you want to, you could create a schedule. So if I wanted to, you know, 
go in the morning and then only charge in the afternoon, you could uh, type it in and it would just automatically start. So there's a ton of features on this thing. After a week of using this thing, we only have very positive things to say about it. It's working a heck of a lot better than like we said about that other one. And it's actually better than the name brand one we had inside. The biggest difference is the name brand one we had inside only charges Teslas. This one, you could pretty much charge any EV. So if you guys have any questions about the LTEL charger, Kyle's gonna put a link in the description for their website. You guys could pick up this unit on amazon.com. Also a link in the description. We'll see you guys on the next one. Charge your stuff and don't zap yourself. Peace.